What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and um, uh, today, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now, oh, this is making me very sad, it's, it's like, get me ID, so today, I think we can do one more fuse for, um, um, Magna Potato, and I wanna do a tutorial on how to do Lord Lathornax without having every level, uh, every dino in your team like level 25. All right, let's see if we can get another buff. I mean, I have tested it out like, uh, I feed it uh, like all three, it will give me around 50. So if I feed it again, it will, I think I will be able to get another buff. Please, yes. Yeah, because I was being nice to my clanmates, so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna ask for um, Demetrodon. But I, uh, so I asked for a Padasaurus for like two days in a row. So today I asked uh, for T-Rex, and then I think tomorrow, yeah, I will ask for Demetrodon. And soon enough, I'll be asking for Irritate. <laughs> Three more, it's like, if we get a hundred here, we're good. Like, we'll be getting 150! Let's go! Oh, let's go! Alright, and as you guys can see, I got a epic incubator. Almost said legendary. I don't know why I want to say legendary. Yeah, but I gotta watch it, uh, like, talk less in this video, cause, um, uh, something happened in my mouth, and my mom said it's okay, and we went to see doctor, and the doctor said it's okay, but my mouth kind of hurts right now, like, if I sh use it too much, or stretch it out too much, like, you know, when taking a bite, I have to take, like, a small bite, or my mouth will hurt crazily, uh, if it's but don't worry, it's fine. So a rare incubator and an epic incubator. Let's do this. And we're doing a tutorial. Uh, I thought that dude had armor. On how to be more Luff Ornax. Can my Thordor? Yes! Huh, suck it. My Thordor has 123 speed. Ah, oh, my mouth hurts. Alright, so that's the rare incubator. I mean, at least it didn't happen on my phone, or it would be more painful. <laughs> Alright, Tojangasaurus. Alright, let's see what we're gonna get. We want the Metrodon and T-Rex. 15,000 coins, that's pretty nice. Purtosaurus, uh, haven't seen that one in a long time. Okay, Toddle, that's nice. I don't want this, come on, you met- Okay. That's alright. Okay, I, I kind of need a I don't need a Renosaurus! Like, gosh darn it. I don't need a Renosaurus. And I'm, uh... Yeah, not gonna do a video on this soon. This is like the hardest boss you will ever face in this game. So, how to defeat Lord Lathornax? So, if we take a look at this... This, this dude have instant rampage, dealing 4,834, but it does not go through. Um, uh, your armor or your shield. And he can only use the fin shining rampage on the second turn. And it have long invincibility, which means your team needs to have a notifying dino or a defense shattering dino. And the notifying strike is just a uh, yeah, no. And the maximal counter deals uh, uh, like one times its attack. 
So um, yeah, and swapping Rampage is uh, pretty much useless as of, at this point because it can't swap in. So now we have to look at what it's immune to. It's not 100% immune to damage over time and not 100% immune to rendering. But today, the strat is on uh, damage over time. I, this may take a few tries, just, just beware, this may take a few tries. Because I literally forgot what order I did it in. So I used Thordor and that's the wrong order. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wait, 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 let, let, let me think about this. So we need to have a dino that have a swap and bleed. So this dude have a swap in bleed. And uh, our Scorpius Rex Gen 3 have like uh, the quote impact thing, which is also after he swap in. And then we will just go for this and that. Yeah, so this is a general idea of how it works. Like, if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a dino like the current current ones I have, then your chance of beating Warbo Thorax is next to none. Don't crit. And the and a priority of this is that Lord of Thorax cannot crit when Thordor attacks it. All right, there we go. We switch into the Taranex, and we switch in to the Demodactylus. Swap in wound. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. All right, the people. He has two cooldowns. Wait, he just uses them to finish shot at Oh no. Ah, uh, this is like the one of the worst situations you can ever get in. But here. So it didn't knew that I am gonna go for it, or it did predict. Because this is not the first time I did it with this strap, so we could have pre predicted. Oh no, it still went for an instant rampage. So we don't get notified this turn, but next time he will go for notifying which makes us screwed. But we need to pray that this deals enough bleed damage so that it dies. Wait, what? Did it just went- Oh no, I messed up. So here's the thing, it cannot go for long in invincibility or we're screwed. That's the problem here. So this team can work, but it cannot go for- the um, long invincibility, that's the thing. So, I am gonna try this until I get a win. <laughs> so, like, until I get a win, I'm gonna keep on trying. But this team, like, a hundred percent works. We only need to, uh, to. Uh, make the Lord of Thorns take two, take the bleed damage from, <gasps> let's go, take the bleed damage from uh, Scorpius Rex for two times, because one time it only dealt 1,800 damage, so if it, uh, if it take it for two times, then it will deal well, 3,600 damage, and we're very close to winning that. So my Thordor did crit there, which is like a little bit on the chance and relying on Arn Jesus, but don't worry. Really, it's like it takes try and it tries and you fail it, failing to get it. Anymore. Trials and fate. And then I switch in to Scorpius Rex. Wait, imagine this dude punch through my dog. Which gets faster and get more crit chance. But it's immune to our distraction. Don't punch through. What? No! 
No! Yes, and punch through my dog. Oh, my mouth hurts. Wait, what? Why does the inner? Oh. Got distracted by the whole intermediate thing. All right. It's like, all right, third try. Yeah, and your demo dactylus don't really have to be an extremely high level dino because it just deals uh, uh, bleed damage, and bleed damage is a, uh, the amount of bleed damage is according to the scale, and it's a description of uh, how many percent of bleed damage it will do to the opponent. But you don't have to worry about it. I mean, what if I switch out into um, uh, Scorpius Rex first? Not fun by you. But not fun by me anymore. Oh lord. Should be able to distract this dude some uh, whole thing. Of course, in long invincibility. But don't worry, because we didn't play by our old orders. This dude is gonna get very confused. And before we commit that under, I was like, oh wait, before we commit that, oh no, this dude got the see. Rampage! I see. Cause the condition to win is not to like not lose, it's just to kill this dude. So even if you kill him after um, uh, every three kills, you can still win. That's the thing. Yeah, wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna still it's still gonna say that I win. I win and you lose. Alright, it worked. Success! Alright, it worked. So yes, that's how it worked. And I will give you guys another tutorial on this. <laughs> Which is like the easiest one I have ever fought. Alright, we're just gonna do this as a outro. So if you like this tutorial. Just you know, go watch my video. All my, all my video are pretty much tutorial video on how you should fight uh, in this game, how to use your diamond. So look at this. Wounding headbutt. <gasps> Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And that dude's like, huh, that's a lot of damage too. And I'm like, <laughs> you're dead. I know you are gonna do unbelievable. Yeah, like this is the weakest boss that is in here. So if you went through Lord of the Four Hacks, this is a this is a free two goat send and a, a epic incubator. Yeah, easy. Yeah, and um, uh, that's how you do it. And I will show you guys how unbeatable this boss is for me. But if I beat this boss, it will be epic. All I'm gonna say. So if we take a look at this boss, just kidding, it's basically the digging, just, it just goat real, De it deals all your damage, scapegoat, literally reduce damage by 75%, and its speed is 134, so I have to get a 136 speed or a 135 speed for the source, and it have 60% armor. So, we need Dino with armor piercing and um, armor piercing and the fin shattering. And we cannot switch out because it does a m minor heal on escape. So even if you just swap in deal damage, if it's less than 2,005 uh, damage, then you're doing negative damage. Uh, in this term, you are not hurting yourself, you're giving the opponent more health. So I have uh, I I had a strategy plan plan out. So because Thordor, uh, not Thordor, uh, sorry, our Trico, beautiful Trico, has thirty percent armor and a resolute which cleanse reduce damage, so we can put this dude in. 
it would have worked if my uh, Trico was at, like level 24 and deals an like, insane amount of damage, but no, it's not at level 24. And then after Trico die, I would switch in Sconosaurus, which no matter what, would have like maybe a chance to slow it down. So when my Thoror comes in, it would try to kill it. Uh, so that's my plan. You know, uh, yeah, just put you tar uh, our dentist Maxima there for fun. Fun. Uh, I can't even talk. That right hurts. So, if uh, anyone watching this video have like a high enough level of dino, uh, dino, if you can just use my plan and make a video, like uh, post it on YouTube, and then just comment below and link it to. Uh, and then post a link to a video, that would be nice. Cause I just wanna help people here. So look, cleanse damage, but useless. So if this dude go for a cleansing strike, it went for just kidding, let's go. The dude is being dumb. Yeah, and the most OP part of everything here is that even the healing skill only have a cooldown of one. All right, it, it, used, it just got real. It just got. It used to. Um, it just got real. Let's go. So the smart thing to go for here isn't um uh slowing rampage because you already deal the celebrate. It's to go for a uh, resolute strike because for a resolute strike, get this fucking piece of a uh, uh vulnerability. So even this dude kills you next turn. You give a vulnerability and a speed decrease, which makes it into our kill ring. And now, even if you go for this, and then you go for the group decelerating rampage, because they don't have a counter attack, you slow it down. And then, after you slow it down for this turn, you can do another vulnerability on this dude which also maintains your never mind i thought no that if it if it had worked the way i wanted to then it will maintain the deceleration for one more turn which would um easily <clears throat> which would have made Thordor just easily kill it but well I mean, I, I guess I'll do three tries on this too. Cause maybe just one time the sheet will be done. I will just be like, I will just be, uh, this video will literally just be named Jurassic World Alive, How to Beat Lord of the Thornax and Other Boss in Campaign. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it almost worked. If it went, if it literally just went for it just go real, then it would have worked. Yeah, like, I have found out a pat pattern here, like, every time I went for Trico first, it will always go for Cleansing Strike for some reason. Is it gonna- I think it's gonna- Yep, yeah, it's gonna go for Just Kidding. Like, there is literally no point switching out. Like, you give it a heal every time you switch out. And now I'm just gonna force you to go for just got me. Oh yeah, I was so dumb. I could there is a chance that I could have forced him to go for it just go real. Yeah, this dude know he is gonna be dead. So just go real is on a cooldown. And if I switch into Sconosaurus, which does not make it a threat, it will go for scapegoat. It will go for just kidding. Oh no, risk of the biscuit. Go for just kidding. Oh my. Oh well, there goes our second try. It's gonna go for just go for you. I swear, if it go for a cleansing, then it, 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 it will literally make the game feel like... Oh, oh. It will literally make the game feel like somebody is control the boss, controlling the boss thing. 
24-7. It's like, we you hired a bunch of employees just to control the boss to torture you. Alright, last try. If this try don't work, then I'm done. I will wait till my trico gets to, like, level 24 and re-challenge it. Which, by that time, it should deal, like, 3,000 to 3,500 uh, damage a rampage. So that should be nicer. And uh, I really wanted to make like Hypixel, uh, Hypixel Skyblock and Minecraft video, but due to I don't have a microphone, I can't. It's so, like I found that like just uh, re-recording it uh, after sending myself an email, it's it's not good. It's just not that good. Like, you guys would see the video screen and uh, it, it will be feeling like... It would be feeling like... You're, uh, you're watching... A meme. <clears throat> you're watching something and then at the end it literally just like... Uh, shows something that it, it wasn't supposed to show and then it just feels fun. And then uh, you feel out of, uh, out of context. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna wait till my birthday, and my mom and my parent will give me a will buy me a microphone. Because if you are like, oh, then why don't you use your own money? Because Chinese kids don't have their own money. They're broke. It's like even my Chinese need your money. My mom's like, ah, I will keep it for you. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, please. Give me some money, I'm broke, I don't have money to buy anything. And they're like, that's the point. And I'm like, <laughs> so yeah. So, yeah. And then it's like, uh, the, my friends usually always ask me at school, be like, they be like, oh, why, why don't you do it? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? And I'm like, I have no money. What are you expecting to do? Wait, wait, there might be a possibility of winning. Vulner we got it. We got a vulnerability. Increased damage 50% of t No! No! See, like, if this dude's cooldown had one more turn on it, then I would have won. Go for a cleansing strike. Please. It's like, please go for chosen. And then it's like, nope, I'm gonna play games with you. Ah. Oh. It's like, yeah, that's like what I said. If this dude's cooldown literally slows down for one more turn, then I could just win easily. But now I have to do it the hard way, uh, which, and by that, I mean literally speeding up my Thoror to 135 speed, which in any condition, I will be faster than that in Dino, if they don't use the, um, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, just kidding. And even if that happens, I will be getting my Magna Potato, and I will be putting it in there, and then it will just be unable to, like, give itself buff, because, um, Wow, I can't even. Oh yeah, I have collected that. It... Yeah, and Ludia some uh, sometimes Ludia just don't fix nothing. It's like it shows that it's filled, and it's the three hundred out of two hundred fifty. You can't. You just can't. All right, guys, that will be the end of this video, and I hope my tutorial is somewhat helpful to you guys. And you know. Even if you can't be the uh, re the real sheep boss, you still get the goat send from the the mini goat uh, little grunt, and then you, for those two, you get a hundred percent a T Rex. And if you're like me, that T Rex don't spawn around me, all it spawns is like those ego thing. Then that would be pretty nice for you, cause that would be like the last push you need to get that sweet trico. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.